All right. So this here is a bimetallic strip. If you take a look at it, you can see that it's very straight. Uh, we call it a bimetallic strip because there's two pieces of metal. There's the steel piece of metal, and there's this brass piece of metal. Um, they're made up of different atoms, obviously, brass atoms and steel atoms. Uh, the question is, what useful purpose could this have? This actually has a useful purpose in your home thermostats. Uh, in some of the thermostats, what they've got inside of them is they've got a coil made of metal. Uh, that coil made of metal is much, much smaller version of this, much, much thinner version of this. Uh, but let's see how it works, shall we? With the thermostat, it probably has to do with temperatures. So we're going to cool this down a little bit at the, at the tip. What you should be able to notice right now is that since it's cooled down, the, um, uh, the bimetallic strip is actually curving in one direction. According to the kinetic molecular theory, as atoms get colder, they slow down. They also get closer to each other. Uh, so what's happening is the metal's contracting a little bit here. The brass is actually contracting at a quicker rate than the steel on the other side, so we get this effect of it curving in that direction. Okay, so now that our bimetallic strip has cooled off enough, I can put it back in the heat here, and we can watch as it heats up, you know notice something's happening. Should be very similar to what happened last time when we put it in the cold. If you're thinking because the brass was very quick to contract, that it'll be very quick to expand, you're probably right. Take a look at this and you can see now that it's, per, that it's uh, curved more towards the steel side. Uh, the steel is slower to expand uh, and the brass is quicker to expand, so now it curves in this direction. And basically, again, this is how your thermostat works. Most of your thermostats uh, have a coil in it that are made up of a strip very much like this, a metal on each side. Uh, because that coil is much thinner and much, uh, much thinner and much smaller, uh, it works uh, much more effectively than with the bending that you're seeing here.